Hello everyone, I'm Nick Murphy. Today I'll be bringing you another high-level cast, high-level PVC between Stefano and Huck in the top ha uh, right-hand corner of Antigua Shipyard tournament map, um, tournament version with the <laughs> neutral supply depot there in the forced cross-spawn position. We have the red Protoss player, EG's Huck. Beautiful. His opponent down here in the bottom left-hand position <clears throat> we have the blue Zerg player, Millennium Stefano. Millennium Stefano throwing out the GLHF. Huck reciprocating. Doing that same thing. Um, planting down his first pylon, nine pylon, scouting, and doing some stuff to make sure there's no. Hello everyone, I'm Nick Murphy. Today I'll be bringing you a high level cast, high level PVZ right here on Antigua Shipyard, the tournament version with the neutral supply depot and force cross spawns position. So up here in the top right hand corner, we have our red Protoss player, E.G. Huck. His opponent down here in the bottom left hand corner, we have Millennium Stefano, the blue Zerg player. All right, this is a first game in their best of three. Stefano throwing out the GLHF, E.G. Huck doing the same. Flatten down his pylon, getting ready for the forge fast expand. Very typical on this map. Lots of uh, big maps these days really easy to forge expand on, so we wouldn't be surprised seeing that. Um, gonna be scouting the Zerg base on the 9 pylon scout, just so he can make sure there's no early, really early pool, like 6 pool or something like that. Dumpty dum. Um, yeah, if he, if there is, he can easily, like, just make a f pylon back here and put a cannon there. And he'll be quite a bit ahead, he'll just have to stay on one base for a while. But he comes in here, confirms there is in fact no early pool, and, uh, we see Stefano droning up to 15. Uh, probe being annoying, gonna drop the pool at 15, probably gonna wanna follow that up with a quick hatch, some sort of, uh, uh, to get that economy going. Probe still being annoying, harassing the workers. Very, uh, not very good. Um, now he got a mineral, so he's not going to be harassing any longer, which is good. He might just pylon block this here, though. We'll see. Um, and he's just, oh, just barely outside the hatchery, uh, build place thing. <laughs> And uh, he gets it down. Very, very nice. A little bit of a miss micro by Huck. And Huck going for the Nexus first before the Forge. Smart choice because it's uh, a bit more economical and uh, you can definitely get away with it if you don't see a early pool, like a 10 or earlier. You can absolutely get away with the Nexus first. Most li definitely. And uh, Stefano sees this Nexus first, so he's thinking maybe he should take an even quicker third. Not sure. Um, there's a variety of different uh, possibilities. This uh, is going to be pretty easy to wall. You can wall it with two buildings almost. He's going to put the gateway there, and it's almost a full wall. The only problem with this is this cannon can't quite reach over here, so a couple links could uh, go and harass the workers, maybe get a kill or two. But uh, that probably won't be a problem for Mr. Hook. Anyways, two gases being added, very standard uh, follow up, two gases uh, in the main so he can get mm, that stuff up. <laughs> Gateway about three quarters done, and this um, hatchery going down. See these lings, yeah, these, this cannon cannot quite touch these lings, so they could be quite annoying for Mr. Huck. And the Cybercore going down at 4.55, a little bit late, but that's because of the Nexus first. Uh, you delay your tech just slightly when you go for this kind of economical build. Um, the gateway was slightly delayed, I, I believe, but it's all in, all in good. Uh, it was not in vain. It was definitely worth it. Stefano gonna wait for the energy for a creep tumor, plant one, and head on over to the third so he can get that inject as quickly as humanly possible. And these links look like they were harassing a little bit. Got some shields off of a probe or two. 
this zealot choosing not to uh, kill off the lings, but instead to go poke at uh, at the front. There, see what's see what's happening. Stefano adding these gas at around 5:50 to six minutes. That's <clears throat> very standard off of this uh, three hatch build. He's probably just going to go into that massive amounts of roaches, uh, 200 max, that kind of stuff. And uh, see this queen going to inject um, much quicker than if if he had uh, waited and just made a queen here. So very well played by Stefano there. He also gets a good uh, amount of creep out, which is nice. And uh, this uh, zealot going to be harassing the drones, actually kills a drone from long distance somehow. That was really strange. He kills a drone through another drone and not, again kills a drone from long distance. This zealot is using the force or something because uh, he was that was definitely not melee range <laughs> anyways four more gates being added by huck gonna be just a regular old um, oh never mind i was gonna say regular somewhat zealot heavy pressure but uh, there is the robo completely missed that sorry about that and the two gases being added we'll probably see some heavy uh teching with zealots and sentries being the uh, main army for a while actually no uh, probably more more towards focused uh, immortals or something like that I don't know I don't know sorry I don't play a protoss there is this quick observer gonna go in and scout see what uh, see what Stefano's up to he's gonna make a macro hatch eight minutes um, yeah these this build is pretty much down to exact numbers like really round easy to remember numbers I like it so uh, getting the gases up getting the uh, not where roach horn getting the roach speed getting the uh, plus one uh, plus one range attacks uh, and starting to get those overloads so you can start massing roaches and just annihilate everything in your path very very good uh, robo robotic support bay is on the way and uh, I'm trapping like four limbs with two force fields I'm not quite sure that was worth it uh, but I don't really play Protoss, I couldn't tell you. Four more gates being added here, gonna bring the total up to uh, eight gates in total, off of two base, that's pretty good. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna be looking to maybe all in with this uh, Ekronos and Empty Robo, that's pretty funny. And there's a Colossus being started. Uh, yeah, he's gonna go try to hit some, some timing with uh, lots of sentries and Colossus and uh, just gateway units doesn't look like he's getting uh, this thing yet will he uh, decide to get yeah he does okay good um, so yeah he's gonna try to hit some timing which will indeed be very good against the roaches I believe um, but we'll see how Huck handles this and he's actually gonna get a third behind this okay it's a little bit odd I think to uh, expand with this kind of army it's kind of a little bit late I think you could hit a timing with this uh, if you put more resource into not taking a third so or maybe just putting pylons to make it look like he's taking a third that's what it looked like to me so mission successful huh? oh no Colossus being caught out of position the army has been separated and this is bad news for Protoss and oh my goodness a Colossus nearly just straight up dies and this army is not going to survive and it just looks like he's gonna outright lose right here. The Colossus goes down, the one and only Colossus. There is one more on the way, but uh, the Gateway Army is absolutely getting uh, uh, annihilated right here. But uh, the, the Colossus is putting in some work, but it's just a Colossus. There's absolutely no Gateway Army to support it. A couple of sentries and cellars being worked in, but uh, it looks like he'll definitely be able to take down this natural... Uh, natural nexus and pretty much that's pretty much the game right there that's very unfortunate uh, it was a quick game but mm, I don't know and uh, manor hatchery is gonna be planted down that's actually very funny it's not manor it's just for the uh, reinforcement capacity no big deal that was very uh, unfortunate timing there for Huck he had his uh, roaches right there in the middle separated his gateway army from his uh, from his colossus and one could not support the other and he just had to uh, uh, get it get everything raped and 
and leave. His army was just completely out of position. Really bad uh, luck there. Anyways, uh, this was game one of the series between Stefano and Huck. Stay tuned for game two tomorrow. Ah, who will win? Nobody knows. Okay. Um, this has been another high-level cast by Nick Murphy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the cast or about StarCraft 2 strategy, leave me a comment. I'll answer it in the next video. Um, if you want free coaching on the NA server, actually, I'm not doing coaching for a good while. After this, after this week, I'm taking like a two-week break from coaching, but I will be able to answer your questions nonetheless. I'm going to be pretty busy, so I wouldn't be able to uh, coach you very effectively. But I still can answer questions, any questions you may have. So, anyways. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, comment, do everything, tell all your friends. Um, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Look out for my guide, which will be coming soon. I'm Nick Murphy, bye-bye.